Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today's video is just a little bit different. Um, you see, I have my platinum six sitting here and I have a screwdriver. That's because I had an issue with this one. Now, this is not the way that this is supposed to be. This is supposed to close flat, so this is the amount of space it should be able to take on my desk, which isn't that much. And you know that that is one of the reasons why I got the machine. Well, after a while, it stopped closing. It opens, it works fine, there's nothing wrong with it as long as I leave it open. But I went ahead and let Spellbinders know that there was an issue. And it looks like this is, its although it's not common, it is something that they are aware of. So they sent me a box of parts and I did get instructions as to how to fix this. So you can always take a look at the video that they provide too. But I thought I would go ahead and show you um, basically what they sent me and I'm gonna go through the process of fixing this thing okay so you probably recognize these are the same as these panels right and then and I have not taken out of the package yet but I did see the video like I said and then we've got these pieces in here and what they said is that these are bushings and it does have a little bit of grease on there and that's to make sure everything fits everything works perfectly so let me get this out of the way. First thing that you do when you're wanting to <clears throat> fix this, and I'm gonna have to do it on both sides, is we've got these little rubber bumper things, and I think what I'm gonna use is my scissors instead of that, because this of course has got a an area where I'm able to actually grab a hold of that little rubber stopper thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all of those out. And ladies, if you're not really mechanically inclined, just have your husband do it. <laughs> it's not going to be that big of a deal, I don't think, to do this. Like I said, I did watch the video and it looks fairly straightforward as to how to fix this. So I'm just got, this is a Phillips head screwdriver, so that's all that you need for that. You don't need one of those special hex um, screwdrivers or anything like that. And this, this screwdriver, I think, is slightly magnetic because it pulls the, it was, anyway, it pulled a couple of the, it has pulled out screws and had them actually stick to the screwdriver. So that's kind of cool, too, when you can get a hold of one of those. This is actually one of Todd's, so I asked him, honey, do you have a screwdriver? And he went and grabbed one for me. Because the ones on his desk are the hex ones, not, not the one like this. Okay, so next this comes off the bottom, okay, and you can see here are those little, um, those bushings, okay, and it looks like I had one, it looks like it cracked, one of the, the um, gray pieces, so I'm glad that they are replacing that too. Okay, so next I probably need, do you have a flathead screwdriver too? Because I think that's probably better than me using my scissors on this stuff. And it looks like that one is just popping right on out. So that may be the issue. So that's the old one. Okay. So this thing comes right off. And they said that if the inside of this little thing looks fine, because there's apparently a bushing in there too, I don't really see anything other than some of that grease. But we'll go with it. Let me put the new one on. So it goes, just double checking everything, it goes out this way. I don't want to put it on the wrong way. Thanks, hon. Yes, I am recording. <clears throat> He's about to go out on his bike ride like you guys know he always does, right? So the way, it... okay, this is the new one and it, okay, I think there was a broken piece still um, on my machine or fell into the new panel. So it, the way it's supposed to work is we've got this little hole down here. See that? And it lines up with that hole. And then this just slides right in. There's that little piece that sticks out. So that goes in there. And it's supposed to just slide in. And it looks like it is a little bit 
tight. Okay, let me get that back. So at least I know that it's it does click in like it's supposed to. And no, ladies, I have not done this before. And gentlemen, because I know there are a couple of guys that watch my channel as well. I'm trying to do it without pushing it all the way through so that I can get it into that slot. Okay, there we go. So this one is now in place. Awesome. Let me grab one of the others. This was the other new one. And turn it around. Put it into that slot again. Raise this up enough to go into the hole there. And let's see if I can slide that in. Okay, so that has now clicked into place. Looks like it does need to go a little bit further in on this one. So I'm using a flathead screwdriver to pop it in. So it popped in. And that seems like it does click into place like it's supposed to. All right, great. <clears throat> So next, since this side is done, I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in and then I'll work on the other side. But it might help if I actually had my hands where I could do that, right? <laughs> okay, let's go. So that will fold out flat like it's supposed to. Putting the screws back in. And I didn't tell them that I had a problem on both sides. I just told them that it's not folding flat again. They went ahead and sent me two, one for each side, <coughs> which I am very grateful for because I'll be able to fix the other side too. But of course we have to test first, right? So let me finish getting this all screwed back together. Pop my little rubber pieces back into place. And now, moment of truth. Let's see. And it is perfect. It goes right in like it's supposed to. Fantastic. So that is all it takes to basically fix one of these things. This was super easy. You saw that it's taken less than 10 minutes to do one side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off screen. But like I said, I did wanna show you guys in case you have that problem with your um, Platinum 6. Like I said, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, Spellbinders takes care of you. You guys have a wonderful day. And even with this, remember, if I can do it, you can too. Have a great day.